Hey everybody, this is Spanky Dave from Spanky Dave Mops. Okay, for this overcast, windy, warm Tuesday, I have for you an update of two builds I've got going on right now. Uh, I've got the, uh, the C141 Star Lifter. I also have the uh, C130 Hercule Bird, too. We've got two updates on that. Might as well just make two updates in one video to get it over with. Okay. These things are get, making preparation for painting. We'll start out with the uh, with the star lifter. These are the engines for the star lifter. They've all been primed, assembled, primed, and ready to be paint, ready for installation and be painted later. Now. For well, the Cargo Master, as you can see, it's starting to grow now. I've got filler on here. I think this is about the last filler it needs. It's going to be really sanded down with wet and dry sandpaper, done wet, and a good priming. And I've got the butchers on the wheel wells, too. I've got them installed. Of course, you can see where you can find them. These marks here, these are the location where the engine pods go at. One go here, and then one go here. They got locating strips on the on the pylons for the engine engine pylons. This thing would be uh, ready for painting probably about. A couple of days, but right now these are good sand to get that filler off there. So I'm gonna hit it with another primer, some more primer paint. See if there's any more perfection. If not, this thing is to get a, get the final priming and be ready for painting. So that's come on quite nicely. That'd be another final build coming up, guys. It's about here in Ohio land. It's been nothing but overcast, rain. Overcast. I can't take no pictures. I held that outside. I don't want to take pictures because I got no room here to take good pictures of it. I'd rather take them outside where you get the, the abundance of the sunshine, and then it brings up the true color values of the kit itself, or the, or the paint. So we get that coming away. I don't. I don't even. I'm promising you the final bill for that though. It's coming, guys. It'll be four or five final bills pretty soon. Okay. Lastly, I got this big mambo jumbo over here. The Horky Bird here. This too needs to be sanded down, wet and dry sandpaper. I get the filler on there, just very lightly done. Send that filler off. Now you guys are probably saying, hey, Frank, good the wings. Yeah. I did this on purpose. This is a big model, so slide them off like that. Put one in the box, two in the box up like this. Cutting the edge up, keep the pots from getting broken. And the fuselage, but you can put it on one side, but come out of that box it came out of. Now, while I was taking it to a model show, the wings will not be removable. That takes away uh, that takes away your your prize in case you want to win something. So, like I say. The spar is all there. There's no modification at all. Just don't glue the wings in there. These spars are strong enough to keep the wings hold up. Don't be sure you don't break them. If you want to do like I do, want to store this thing, just take the wings off, that's fine. It's awesome. It's up to you. Since I live in something like this, i got to have some place to put this at. And the box, like I did my B24 Liberator, the B17, it's all back in the box where it came out of. And same thing, this goes back in the box where it came out of too. So I got that shaking pretty good. Now, I got a special treat for you guys.
We'll be back in two seconds. Okay, for B-47. I used my special aluminum paint on it. Came out real nice. This thing is to be, got to paint black up here, mask off, paint the black. I put the decals on it. And the ray dome up here that has to be painted yellow. And black, that's the last thing I'll paint on it. So I'm getting ready for decaling on this thing. The mighty B-47. That was a pretty looking airplane for us day, guys. I'll tell you one thing. I don't know why they didn't use them. I cannot see any reason why they uh, they could use them. I guess they more or less cater to the, um, the B-52. The B-47 came out a long time ago during the war, around 1943, they're designing stuff like this. So she's been around for a long, long time. And by 1960, 61, I think they just phased them out and kept the big ugly fella, the big buff, kept her in operation. So I got a lot of stuff going down, guys. I got this big old glow mask right we finished this up. The old shaggy right here. I got that going. I got to sand the filler off that. Give it a good fine job to paint. This is going to be the A model, the Korean War version. I've already, I've already got the. Uh, I've already have the. Uh, I think the C model they've got. Them. The radium on there, so I think I did a a video on that. Okay, that's as much I got to show you guys. Let's show what I've been doing on here. So I, I got the B forty seven going good, and uh, so I'll be deep. I'm gonna give this thing a nice, good buffing. I got a good buffing back when I buff this thing down real well. So I'll go ahead and uh, start masking that, get that black on there. So you're adding the decals, the undercarriage, the Bombay, and she's about done. So I should have this done this week for sure. It's on her, she's on her ways right now getting done. Well, I'll set it over here if it'll allow me. Yeah, there it is. Okay. That's it for the V-47. That's it for the Globemaster. That's it for the C-130 Bird. That's it for the C-141 Starlifter. So I got about three, four builds done in one video. That's what I got shaken on the bench. Um, Bruce Kerr, the Mystic Modeler, he did a wonderful job on this in Opale. So be sure to view his video. He worked so hard on it. And I commented back on his, on his uh, channel and told him he did a wonderful job on it. It's the first time I've ever seen a clipper rigged in the park. In a park uh, setting, but park rig, but that's the way it was back in those days. He uses barks or just full rig clippers. Okay, I'm gonna get get some water, some warm water, some suds, and some sandpaper. So I sang down this star lifter and get a good priming, and uh, start preparing parts for, for the nacelles to fit inside the wings, and. Uh, Get ready for painting. Oh, yes, I forgot. Here's my Berlin Airlift Connie I'm working on. I sand it off and find that real well. Mask down these windows. I got a lot of stuff going, guys. I'm building these things like this, like my mojo is coming up now. I'll start with the old Frankie Day mojo. My brother's home with me now, and he's. He kind of makes me feel good a lot. He's home and keeps me going. 
and uh, he's doing good. He came back from the VA yesterday. They checked him out. They checked out his blood count and everything. He said he's doing very well. The chemo is working. You know, it's really works, guys. Ain't the chemo. It's you guys. All your wonderful prayers and support from my brother and myself is really it beats a shot in the ass any day of the week. I'll tell you that. And I thank you guys for working from top of my key, from top to the heel. And uh, then beneath my heart, thank you very much for your wonderful comments and candor and your prayers and thoughts. It means a lot to me and my brother. Okay, I'm out of here. So the next video is going to be could be the final reveal or it could be something coming up. But just so stay posted, guys. I hope I can whip up something for you guys. I've always got something going on here. Okay, I'm out of here. And uh, take care of mama. Take care of the little ones. Stay focused. You drive the way of the surroundings. Spend wisely. Keep the stuff we can. And uh, enjoy life, guys. God bless you all. Weather's starting to break a little bit. And. Uh, Outdoor activities will prevail, I guess. I'll show you that. Let's be bogged down the house all night long. <clears throat> say your prayers. More importantly, say your prayers. And thank you very much, guys, for your wonderful views. All my new subscribers, old subscribers. I'm very deep in honor each one of you. I got love you all, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Stay posted for that. This is Frank Dave, Frank Dave Model signing out. We'll catch you guys in the next video. God bless you all. Love you, fellas.